Oh, hi there. Another beautiful June weekend coming up. So guess what? Time to get the RV out of storage and heading down to this weekend, Camp Margaritaville, Crystal Beach, Texas. I'll tell you, that is an amazing resort. I did a video. We did a video for that uh, last month, but we're heading back with some friends this time. We have a great time. Now, when I said, I apologize about all the crickets this time of the season here in Texas. You also see all the mayflies are coming out. Even though it's June, imagine that. But as you prepare, you always want to double check your rig and look for things that could be a problem. One thing I notice that happens a lot for us, especially, we go to a lot of rodeos. And rodeo grounds and the campgrounds they have and the power pedestals usually have something your best receptacles. And it can cause some shorts and cause issues in your power cord, etc. And I'll show you here in the video. So I'm out here. This is the one that I cut off. Now you notice that you'll see on this side, the first thing you notice, this happened at the APHA World Show, American Painted Horse Association World Show up in Fort Worth. As you can imagine, there's always a lot of power drain that occurs there due to all the rigs are sitting on a concrete slab, a very large concrete parking lot basically and during july it gets really hot you can imagine 110 112 degrees everyone's ac units are pulling a lot of power and hence kind of so did clean it up for that particular show um by taking a wire brush and cleaning all these things we always want to check the inside you notice there's some discoloration on the actual cord so the one here on the left by my thumb is actually the white right you notice it's actually black you also see some corrosion in there um, when you see that, the best thing you do is, like I said, I cut it off here. What I'm looking for is nice copper that's not burnt. If it's burnt, I'll cut back a little further. If it's burnt all the way through, it's time to replace the cord itself. But I found nice copper back here, so I was able to go ahead and um, redo the new plug just by cutting off this amount. Something you need to check every time you go out on your rig. Now... With that said, I've replaced the plug already. I've actually replaced both ends. This happens to be our extension. This is a 50-foot extension that goes to a plug we have inside the um, garage. But two brand new Camco receptacles, male and female. This part goes in the RV. That part's on our extension cord. I want to replace these every once in a while, especially if you start to notice any kind of damage, which I just showed you in the video. Uh, that happens a lot in... Um, unfortunately, campgrounds don't take care of their power pedestals. And also it happens when you have usually a 30 amp rig like this, and uh, you're drawing a lot of power when you're running both AC units. So you need to be very careful and take a look at those and monitor that. If you see an issue, replace it. And one thing that saves our butt every single time or saves the rig is we do have a surge guard protector hardwired in here. I did put that in there when we first got the RV. It saved us numerous times, found ground fault issues, found other issues. So if you don't have one, either have one hardwired or have one that you can hang off the pedestal. I recommend that you have some type of surge protection or voltage checker, so to speak, for your rig. So I hope you find this information useful. I know you've probably seen a bunch of videos like that, but we just have noticed had an issue with our power cord going to the rig. So we make sure everything's set for a wonderful weekend down at Camp Margaritaville and suggest every time that you get ready for an outing or if you're full-timing, always double check your power supply and make sure there's no issues with any types of corrosion or shorts or any kind of burn marks that which you saw in the video earlier. Happy camping. Well, we did it. We've completed our very first informational video for Boca News Adventure. If you like what you saw, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any feedback, we'd appreciate that too. Hope to see you out there on the road.